Here with the head coach of the Braves, Lars Anderson, and coach, now you know who you're playing in the NCAA tournament. Probably an easier selection show to go through this year, but what are your initial thoughts on getting to play Queens? Well, we played Queens in a preseason game, and uh, I know that uh, Coach Denise uh, does a great job with that team, and I don't think preseason games really tell you anything. Uh, you know, uh, both managers roll out to all their players, and you're just trying to evaluate players. I don't, I don't know that you play those games to win. Uh, so what I'll need to do over the next uh, two or three days is to make sure that we break down uh, some of their matches and, and get a better idea of what, what Queens uh, uh, brings to the table. Now, what I can tell you is, uh, like I said, I know Denise is a good coach. I know they have a couple of quality players. And uh, you get to this level, if you think there is an easy matchup, uh, you're going to end up losing. I mean, it's that simple. There are no easy teams left uh, uh, in, in the tournament. Uh, this is the NCAA Division II Women's Soccer National Tournament. Uh, so we, we expect a, an absolute battle. And, and we look forward to it. With getting to take another Brave team to the NCAA tournament, what do you learn from your past tournament experiences and what are the things that you kind of take forward as a coach heading into the tournament this year? Well, I, I made it clear to the team that you get to this point in the year, uh, you just have to decide how badly you want it. To, uh, kids start thinking about, like I said, the weather and all the homework they have to do. And there are many other factors that come into play. And of course, all those things fa are important factors, but you have to be able to compartmentalize and say, for a 90 minute period, I can set all of that aside, Thanksgiving, Christmas, uh, final exams, and, and just focus on, on the soccer aspect of things. And, uh, I think my team is very goal-oriented. I think they're very focused, and I trust that they will be able to do that. I have no worries there. When you talk about this team in the 18 and 17, what sticks out in your mind about this team in particular that you'll take to the NCAA tournament, and what have they kind of taught you throughout the season about themselves as a group? Well, I think they're resilient, as I have said many times in the last two or three weeks. We started the season three and three, and you know when you're sitting there at 500 after six games, uh, you're, you're sort of at that point in the season where you you have to make a decision. What do you want to do with this? Uh, are, are you going to trust the process? Are you going to trust a, a coaching staff and your teammates and, and 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 figure it out? And they did slowly but surely. We got there, and then the ball just kept rolling. And you know then we had a hiccup against North Georgia on the road in regular season play, and uh, you. You know, we were very hurt that we lost that game, but we righted the ship and have rattled off a number of wins since. Uh, I, th I think this group is uh, mentally very tough. Uh, they're very talented. Uh, they're tough to score on. Uh, they're fit. They work extremely hard, and I think they uh, care a great deal for each other, and uh, that's a recipe for success in my book any day. All right, Coach, we're looking forward to watching your team and Carson Newman this weekend. Thank you.